Unit 13. Activities. A. Sports. 1. Listen and read. Then answer the questions. A recent survey of teenagers in the USA had some surprising results. The survey was a simple one. It asked teenagers, What sports do you like? These were the ten most popular sports. Sport, position, baseball, first, skateboarding, second, roller skating, third, roller blading, fourth, basketball, fifth, football, sixth, volleyball, seventh, tennis, eighth, badminton, ninth, swimming, Tenth. Baseball was the most popular choice, even though it is not one of the world's most popular games. Millions of people play and watch it all around the world. Surprisingly, many teenagers said they liked table tennis. 3. Listen. Then practice with a partner. Good. Well. He's a good soccer player. He plays well. Skillful, skillfully. He's a skillful volleyball player. He plays skillfully. Slow, slowly. She's a slow swimmer. She swims slowly. Bad, badly. She's a bad tennis player. She plays tennis badly. Quick, quickly. She's a quick runner. She runs quickly. Safe, safely. She's a safe cyclist. She cycles safely. 4. Read. Then answer the questions. Walking is fun. At my school, there are different sports activities but I only take part in one club called Walking for Fun, or WFF. Last year, there was a district walking competition for school children, and my school team won the first prize. Everybody was so happy and wished to keep this activity. Therefore, we organized this club. The number of participants increases every week. The regular activity of the club is a five-kilometer walk to the beach on Sunday morning. Another activity is a walk to school day, or WTS day. Members living near school volunteer to take a walk instead of taking motorbike or bicycle trips every Wednesday. Walking is a fun, easy, and inexpensive activity and people of all ages and abilities can enjoy it. 6. Play with words. What do you like to do? Do you like to skateboard and do a great jump? Do you land on your back with a terrible bump? Or do you fly along at the speed of sound and skillfully land with your feet on the ground. Unit 13. Activities. A. Sports. 1. Listen and read. Then answer the questions, pages 140, 141. A recent survey of teenagers in the USA had some surprising results. The survey was a simple one. It asked teenagers, what sports do you like? These were the 10 most popular sports. Sport, position, baseball, first, skateboarding, second, roller skating, third, roller blading, fourth, basketball, fifth, football, sixth, volleyball, seventh, tennis, 
eighth. Badminton, ninth. Swimming, tenth. Baseball was the most popular choice. It is one of the world's most popular games. Millions of people play and watch it all around the world. Surprisingly, many teenagers said they liked table tennis. A recent survey of teenagers in the USA had some surprising results. The survey was a simple one. It asked teenagers, what sports do you like? These were the 10 most popular sports. Baseball was not the most popular choice, even though it is one of the world's most popular games. Millions of people play and watch it all around the world. Surprisingly, many teenagers said they liked table tennis. 3. Listen, then practice with a partner. Page 142. Good? Well. He's a good soccer player. He plays well. Skillful. Skillfully. He's a skillful volleyball player. He plays skillfully. Slow? Slowly. She's a slow swimmer. She swims slowly. Bad? Badly. She's a bad tennis player. She plays tennis badly. Quick. Quickly. She's a quick runner. She runs quickly. Safe. Safely. She's a safe cyclist. She cycles safely. Walking is fun. At my school, there are different sports activities, but I only take part in one club called Walking for Fun, or WFF. Last year, there was a district walking competition for school children, and my school team won the first prize. Everybody was so happy and wished to keep this activity. Therefore, we organised this club. The number of participants increases every week. The regular activity of the club is a 5 kilometer walk to the beach on Sunday morning. Another activity is a walk to school day, or WTS day. Members living near school volunteer to take a walk instead of taking motorbike or bicycle trips every Wednesday. Walking is fun, easy and inexpensive activity and people of all ages and abilities can enjoy it. 6. Play with words, page 144. What do you like to do? Do you like to skateboard and do a great jump? Do you land on your back with a terrible bump? Or do you fly along at the speed of sound and skillfully land with your feet on the ground? B. Come and play. 1. Listen. Then practice with a partner. Would you like to play table tennis, Nam? I'd like to, but I can't. That's too bad. I have some homework. I ought to finish it before I play table tennis. Yes, you must do your homework first, but I'll wait for you. It'll take me a few more minutes. No problem. I also have to finish this question for math tomorrow. Okay, I've finished. Oh, I don't have my table tennis paddles with me. Do you have a spare one? Yes, I do. Can I borrow it? Sure. Here you are. Thanks. Okay, let's go. 2. Listen. Then practice with a partner. Change the underlined details using the information in the box. Come and play basketball, Nam. I'm sorry. I don't think I can. That's too bad. Why not? Well, I should clean my room. Can you play on Friday? Yes, I can. All right. See you at 7. Okay. Bye. Bye. 3. Read. Then answer the questions. 
Most of the world's surface is water. We may know the land very well, but we know very little about the oceans. Until recently, man could not stay under water for long. A pearl diver, for example, couldn't stay under water for longer than two minutes. But now, with special breathing equipment, a diver can stay under water for a long time. After the invention of this equipment, man could swim freely under water, and scuba diving became a popular sport. A Frenchman, Jacques Cousteau, 1910 to 1997, invented a deep sea diving vessel in the early 1940s. In the vessel, he could explore the oceans of the world and study the underwater life. Now, we can explore the oceans using special TV cameras as well. We can learn more about the undersea world thanks to this invention. 5. Play with words. Come and explore the ocean floor in a submarine for two. We can spend all day watching fish play near our submarine for two. We must not make a sound when a shark is around our submarine for two. It's beautiful here. It's the last frontier in a submarine for two. B. Come and play. 1. Listen. Then practice with a partner. Page 145. Would you like to play tennis, Nam? I'd like to, but I can't. That is too bad. I have some homework. I ought to finish it before I play table tennis. Yes, you must do your homework first. But I will wait for you. It will take me a few more minutes. No problem. I have to finish this question for math tomorrow. Okay, I'm finished. Oh, I might not have my table tennis paddle with me. Do you have a spare one? Yes, I have a good pair. Can I borrow one? Sure, here you are. Thanks. Okay, let's go. Two. Listen, then practice with a partner. Change the underlying details using the information in the box. Page 146. Come and play basketball, Nam. I'm sorry, I don't think I can. That is too bad. Why not? Well, I should clean my room. Can you play on Friday? Yes, I can. All right. See you at 7. Okay. Bye. Bye. Come and play basketball, Nam. I'm sorry. I don't think I can. That's too bad. Why not? Well, I should clean my room. Can you play on Friday? Yes, I can. All right. See you at 7. Okay, bye. Bye. B. Come and play. 3. Read. Then answer the questions. Pages 147, 148. Most of the world's surface is water. We may know the land very well, but we know very little about the oceans. Until recently, man could not stay underwater for long. A pearl diver, for example, couldn't stay underwater for longer than two minutes. But now, with special breathing equipment, a diver can stay underwater for a long time. After the invention of this equipment, man could swim freely underwater, and scuba diving became a sport. Now, Scuba diving is a popular sport. People around the world enjoy it. In oceans everywhere, people can take a closer look at marine life and discover its beauty. 
a Frenchman, Jack Cousteau, 1910-1997, invented a deep-sea diving vessel in early 1940s. In the vessel, he could explore the oceans of the world and study underwater life. Now, we can explore these oceans using special TV cameras as well. We can learn more about the undersea world thanks to this invention. Questions. True or false? Check and then correct the false sentences. Most of the world's surface is land. Before the invention of special breathing equipment, man couldn't swim freely underwater. Now, scuba diving is a popular sport because people enjoy the sea better than the land. Jacques Cousteau invented special TV cameras. We can learn more about the undersea world thanks to Jacques Cousteau's invention. Most of the world's surface is water. We may know the land very well, but we know very little about the oceans. Until recently, man could not stay underwater for long. A pearl diver, for example, couldn't stay underwater for longer than two minutes. But now, with special breathing equipment, a diver can stay underwater for a long time. After the invention of this equipment, man could swim freely underwater and scuba diving became a popular sport. A Frenchman, Jacques Cousteau, 1910 to 1997, invented a deep sea diving vessel in the early 1940s. In the vessel, he could explore the oceans of the world and study underwater life. Now, we can explore the oceans using special TV cameras as well. We can learn more about the undersea world thanks to this invention. 5. Play with Words, page 149. Come and explore the ocean floor in a submarine for two. We can spend all day watching fish play near our submarine for two. We must not make a sound when a shark is around our submarine for two. It's beautiful here in the last frontier in a submarine for two. Uh -huh.